song on guillotine part one is we are fire tell us the story behind this song any particular thing you want to say about it um the song really stemmed from the chorus um it just began as that keyboard um that kind of backs the vocal line um and it's kind of about our generation kind of being at a turning point and us sort of looking at the world that we've inherited um, from previous generations and being like, uh, are we gonna fix this or not? Um, I, I definitely feel like there's a lot of uh, people my age who are a bit disenfranchised and uh, disillusioned by being told, you know, uh, work hard, go to college, and you can achieve your dreams, um, and then that not really ending up being the case for a vast majority of us. Um, it seems like the only real way to get ahead is to uh, pave your path with with bodies and stab a lot of people in the back. Um, and I uh, am sort of trying to present the case that you know we can keep doing this or we can change. And how does your fire connect? Guillotine is a concept album. It's definitely part of my uh, this this first part, Guillotine Part One, is is sort of my youthful, naive um, part of my journey um, as far as the overall story of Guillotine. Um, and in We Are Fire, I'm still somewhat optimistic despite being uh, disappointed with the way the world works around me. Um, I'm still hopeful that that people could come together and, and maybe change things. That kind of changes. <laughs> I really, really am proud of the song um, and the music video. Um, I really love the uh, making the music video. It was it was strenuous and, and hard, um, and I didn't quite storyboard it beforehand, so I learned my lesson. <laughs> um, but um, it was visualizing the the music video was a very uh, like a mental Pinterest board. I just sort of had a whole bunch of glimpses of ideas all over the place. Um, and um, you know, the, the idea is, is running from your demons or facing them. Throughout most of the video, um, the protagonist is kind of running from his demon, and then feels empowered to take a stand uh, against it, but then kind of in the last fleeting moments realizes it's part of him. Um, and I think that was very much a stand-in for kind of um, where we're at with society, I guess. Um, you know, we have to confront and embrace the demons of our past. Um, we have to uh, figure out a way to move forward, not by denying, but by um, being 
aware and conscious of the things that have been our downfall in the past. Um, so hopefully that struck some sort of subconscious chord. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm very proud of it. <laughs>